most of us, many of us, because of the way we were brought up, treated, or traumas in our life and toxic people, will have a negative self-talk. If we think that's who we are, it's not who you are, you guys. It's not who you are. It's how you were programmed to talk about yourself because guaranteed you would never talk about anyone else that way yourself. Oh, no, no. So we've got to learn to be kind to ourselves, validate ourselves, and you know, get with being our own friend. When you do that, you have a place to turn to when you are so swept away into someone else's drama, you can say, wait, 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 wait. Where was I when I was taking that walk today? That's right. That's who I am. Okay. What I'm feeling now is the other person's energy. So, okay. Okay. I'm feeling the other person's energy. And then you see when you've done that, you have just observed what's going on. And the absorption of the other person's energy starts to diminish. Learning who you are versus who you are in relationship to others is critical. It's important. It is for codependent people, for people pleasers, for empathic people who haven't learned that empathy does not mean doing something for people all the time, right? And who does not mean taking on other people's emotions all the time. It's important to learn who you are versus who you are in relationship to others and how that makes you feel. If you know who you are, there's a place to come back to when you're swept away into being absorbed into the other person's reality. Does that make sense? If you don't know who you are, where are you going to go? If you need coaching, group coaching, or peer support, there's info in the main description of every video. Um, you know the routine. I don't want to give you a whole list of stuff to do. Let's do this. Sometimes the reason that we continue to engage, the reason you might continue to engage, is there's a piece of you that is seeking validation from that narcissist. There's a piece of you, a part of you, that wants them to acknowledge something or wants them to something, something that you're needing from them. Okay. If you need something from a narcissist, it's never going to end well. Okay. I'm sorry, but it's not. They are not going to give you the thing you need. In fact, they know you need it most of the time. They know what it is that makes you vulnerable and they're using it. So remember that if you're engaging in it and you're absorbing all of the toxic that they're spewing at you, find the place that, that feels a need to engage with it. Does that make sense? It might be that you feel invalidated, feel unheard, whatever it is, find the belief inside of you so that you can really look at that and play with it differently so that you're not taking that very important need that you may have as a human being to be heard and listened to and validated and placing it in the hands of a toxic person.